All right, everybody. So welcome back to the office. Today, we're going to do something some a little bit different. I'm going to try to get into a little bit of trading. But the thing is, I'm not a great trader. I'm not even a good trader. I'm actually pretty awful. So I invited two of my friends to come over. And what we're going to do is I call this the trinity of trading. We all know about technical analysis. We know about fundamental analysis. And some of us know about sentiment analysis. But why don't we bring all three together to give ourselves an unbeatable opportunity? So I've uh, invited Weston Nelson. He is the head of uh, business development at Trade the Train, which does everything with sentiment analysis. And we'll talk about that in a bit. And also from CJ from Market Rebellion, he is our TA guy. And I will be the fundamental analysis to take a look at the news and kind of bring everything together. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with sentiment analysis to see what coins right there are hot. Nothing to do with fundamentals. Let's see what's great. Then we're going to make sure we're going to double check with CJ there for the technicals. And then finally, we'll go with me. If we find a winner today, which we should, we will invest into that opportunity. And then we will put it on our spreadsheet so you can track to see what happens. So I'm going to start with Weston. I want you to share your screen, pull up, trade okay. the chain and tell us what looks good to you. And then we'll top it off with CJ and then finally me. All right. Perfect. Can you guys see uh, everything clearly here? Yes. Okay, so this is the um, coins page. You know, if you're logged in the Trade of the Chain uh, dashboard, this is just the spotlight kind of overview of the market, the coins. If I'm looking for something uh, regarding sentiment, um, right off the bat, uh, first thing I would go to is the one hour projected range. And again, sentiment is kind of um, a new way to quantify uh, investing using social signals, um, like from Twitter, for instance. Okay. This one hour projected range right here, this looks, um, you know, it's always the first thing you want to go for. But then in addition to that, so like for instance, we got Origin Trail, I know that's a tracking reserve rights. Okay, right off the bat, reserve rights catches my eye. Um, I see high relative tweet, high relative trading, a good mean, and it's down in the last hour. So I would immediately pick that for a short term, maybe couple hours trade. Great. So let's start. Let's stop right there. CJ, take a look at the technicals real quick. Tell us about reserve rights. I think this one is the one that is invested by Peter Thiel, the billionaire. And what this is, is a stable coin with a basket of different uh, cryptocurrencies they put together. I think it's three of them. And right now, it's kind of a strange thing because I think it's like three cents, four cents, somewhere around there. So tell us the technicals. Oh, so up quite a bit here in our last, uh, last day or two. Um, or last week or two, excuse me. Um, you know, personally, I never enter a trade uh, specifically on technicals alone. I'm, sure. you know, I look for fundamentals. That's very important. You know, you uh, had some great fundamental analysis calls, uh, Rob, in your day. Um, but I always pair fundamentals with technicals, and I'll use technicals to try to find the optimal entry point uh, based on what we're seeing in the market. So up here, we can see that... Uh, we're a little bit overextended based on the daily chart, but a lot of what this stuff is playing off on is the overall momentum of Bitcoin. And so typically we will retrace and hit these bottom Bollinger Bands when price becomes a little overextended. We're still bullish. If I was holding this, um, I would have no reason to sell. And I might even consider a long considering bullish momentum has just been so overwhelming in the market. But I just want to emphasize again how important Bitcoin's overall influence is. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if we get a correction where Bitcoin goes up to 45K, it's very difficult for some of these smaller altcoins to perform well. But considering that this is uh, we're in kind of a neutral market territory with Bitcoin hovering around 40K, I'm pretty bullish neutral on this one. Do you think like this? So here's the big question then. So we're looking at a, a pretty good sentiment. And looks like decent fundamental or decent uh, TA. Would you get in right here to put any amount of money in, or would you just say, you know what, I'm going to write it out if I already had some in? Meaning, people who are watching this right now, would you be like, I would get in that? Yeah, uh, you're asking both both of us. Both. I'm interested. Yeah, I'm interested in your opinion first, Weston, because I I do have something I'll follow up with. Um. Yeah, I would say if let's see if you if if I was holding it already, I would continue to hold. Um, and I would also say yes to a short term, several hour, uh, trade based on the sentiment, um, as well as the technicals. And I do know about the, the, the project as well. 
Um, short, yeah, perfect. Short term, you're talking like one to three hours. That's it. One to five, one to six. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give or take, maybe maybe two, one to yeah, one to six hours, a good range, and keep an eye on it. How would you set your your profits? Would you say, okay, I'm going to go for ten percent, twenty percent, or just see where it goes and then maybe follow a downward ticker? Yeah, um, keep an eye. Well, I mean, of course, you want as much you know profit as it possible, but you know, like on the sentiment right now, we're looking at upward range of about eight point eight six percent of our range calculation over the next hour. So that would obviously be a you know pretty successful trade in an hour. Um, so keep an eye on that. CJ, what do you think? Yeah, if we're talking about a shorter term time frame, uh, I'll I'll uh, break down the hourly chart here. And typically, what we see when it comes to TA on the hourly chart, and with the sequential indicator I have here highlighted, when we reach these nines on sequential, we typically get a one to four candle correction followed by further bullish price action if the asset is already in the midst of an uptrend. So, judging by that shorter term time frame that Weston's discussing. Uh, these technicals are much more aligned with that shorter term time frame and are looking pretty bullish. Personally, I would wait for a green two in another hour to get in. But uh, based on Weston's fundamental approach, that may be too long and the move might already occur for them. So we'll have to see. But so, to my thoughts. Right. Perfect. So let's I, mark I, I, it. I like so, so real quick, people who are watching this right now, it is 12.30 p.m. That is... Uh, Mountain time. So you're looking at uh, 1130 Pacific, uh, 130 Central, and 230 Eastern. And this is on January, what are we looking at? January 8th. So if you're going to track this, which we'll put into the uh, spreadsheet, that's uh, one thing to track. And Weston, sorry to cut you off. What were you going to say? I was just going to say exactly what you said. Uh, yeah, what is the, the current price? So we can, it looks like uh, about four cents. Is that what you just shown to? Um, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Four cents. Perfect. So I will just say this, looking at fundamental, I mean, just beside what we just said, there was an article just came out and I'm looking at uh, CoinMetrics. It's an app that I have on my phone. I can pull up the actual uh, token, then just search by news. Bitcoin.com exchange now supports RSR and the utility token. So that just got listed eight minutes. Well, this is the, the story from eight minutes ago. Now let's take a look. Let's share the screen and let's take a look at if there's anything in Twitter. I don't know if I'm going for the right one. Wait, did you? Say it just got listed on Coinbase. No, that would be if that, that that would be like like the slam dunk of all slam dunks. It's uh, a Bitcoin dot com exchange now now supports okay. reserve token. Like wow, we just we that, that's the that's yeah. We just crushed that one. Okay, reserve token. Right. Let's see if there's anything in the in the news. Crypto visualizations tracker fifty three percent. And this is the same type of thing that we've seen. I will just say this. The only reason I knew so much about it is because I was actually looking. It's just, it just by happenstance that this actually happened. So I was looking to actually get into this token because of the people that were already there. I will show you real quick. Let's look at CoinGecko. This is easier just to find things this way. Well, I think there's a connection to PayPal. Um, well, you got Peter Thiel, who was part of the PayPal mafia, and he's investing in this project. So... Looks pretty good. And website, reserve.org. That's a pretty good one. So here's the thing. It's supposed to be a stable type of, it's supposed to be a stable coin. It's a flexible pool and you have different ones that they go. So if you're looking for a stable coin, you expect to hear a dollar, 99 cents, dollar one. However, right now it's at four cents, looking to make some moves. And then when you come down here, here are the co-founders. Here's the Peter Thiel. Coinbase Ventures, which, which has gotten into this. So this could be a big play happening right now. So you have right there. So everybody watching at home, this is why we talk about the three things to really look for. And I don't think anybody really does this too much, if at all. So you'll have your sentiment analysis, trade the chain. You'll have your technical analysis, market rebellion. And you'll take your fundamentals and just take a look at what's going on right now and make the best decision you possibly can. If you're looking to get into Trade the Chain, also for Market Rebellion, there'll be a link in the description below this video. We will be tracking everything and we'll let you know how it all comes out. And we'll try to make this either um, a bi-weekly or even more so a uh, series to uh, help investors out. So before we take off, anything else you guys want to add? Um, I think 
you made a good point in your price prediction video and your portfolio video yesterday talking about why you bet on people. And Peter Thiel, uh, you know, there's not too many billionaires in the crypto space. And so, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's pretty interesting. Very good point. Well, yeah, bet on bet on people all day long because a company can only get you so far. It is the person, and you'll you'll hear about people who the CEO steps down, he goes someplace else, and people follow follow that CEO almost like almost like sports stars, you know. Like you take a LeBron James from Miami Heat, and he goes to the LA Lakers, and look what happens. So yeah. it's those I will bet on people all day long. And I'd add to the the macro um, environment, you know, that we're in, and where reserve rights is actually focused right now um, in South South America. Um, you know, we're having lots of uh, inflationary issues. Um, it's very important to keep in mind. So that's why it's being an amalgam of all three of these met methods is what I think is going to produce the best results for anybody at the end of the day. Yeah. Who else does this? Just us. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys sticking with me to the end. Again, the descriptions are below or the links are in the description below. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.